Hey, what up? It's your boy Adam A D all day Dunlap Bobby Lee Wenzel the B L Dub and uh little y'all might know I am a fan of wrestling. I used to I actually used to not be at all. I was uh I used to watch it when I was a kid and then I stopped watching it. I think I the last pay per view I watched when it was when I was like in uh uh, sixth or seventh grade, and then I was one of those people that was like, "Oh, I heard wrestling's fake," and I'm like, "Well, man, that's fake. I'm not gonna watch that." And uh, I was uh, then introduced to a group of people that got mad when you said the word wrestling is fake, and I'm like, "Well, how can you say wrestling isn't fake? That's what they say," and that's when you meet the group of the right group of people that will tell you. Wrestling is not fake. Wrestling is staged. That is a much better way to put it. Because the last time I watched Golden Girls, which was... It's, it's been a while, but I, I haven't really heard of Blanche ever, like tearing her ACL and she's out for like six months and then the Golden Girls are wondering how they're going to work her back into the story. So, yeah. We get it. Wrestling is predetermined, but it is staged and not fake. And I'm here now to give predictions. I'm going to do that now. I don't know how long I'm going to have my necessarily programmed stuff here, the microphone and camera to make this all work and look good or sound good, but I'm just gonna do what I can and do whatever. I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna turn this off quick. I don't know if that's gonna make, that doesn't even make a difference. All right, I'll just turn that back on. That's my uh, TV playing my Xbox One where I am playing WWE 2K17. Either way, if you see anything out of my lenses here, that's from the computer in front of me. So I am here right now to talk about predictions for WrestleMania. I have a Facebook chat that is wondering my predictions because we all like to give them back and forth. And so I just thought I'd put it on YouTube. If you guys want to hear my predictions, I feel like I'm... I've, I've been dating my fiancé now for uh, two years. And... Uh, it's because of her I got back into wrestling. And uh, since I got back into wrestling, because of her, I have... I, I've had two years to dig into wrestling and get back into it. And I am all about now working those storylines and trying to figure stuff out. So I, like... I'm not like some like I like John Cena or Roman Reigns or uh, 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 hey like the like the I I want this person to win because it makes me feel good. I do like storylines too, but I mean there's some situations where people that like storylines we're just not going to win. So these are my predictions. It's not what's going to happen probably because because uh, WWE likes to go out on a happy ending, a high note, and not what should happen. I am on CBSSports.com, and I have the lineup right now. Um, we have the Andre the Giant match. Um, there are, there are like, the last time I checked, there were like, Four or five people that are like officially announced, like Apollo Cruz, Kurt Hawkins, Mojo Rawley. I like him a lot because he was on the Green Bay Packers uh, defensive line. Now he's a wrestler. Um, he's not gonna win, but you do you, boo boo. Um. Mojo Raleigh, probably Sami Zayn too. Um, but I think the clear winner here is Braun Strowman. I, I don't think you can really go against that. Nobody can really beat him. He squashes everybody he comes up against. He is officially in that lineup. 
The Big Show is in there as well because Shaquille O'Neal has to step down. Shaquille O'Neal, oh, what, you can't just be a genie and, like, fucking wish yourself to beat him? You're so fucking lame, dude. So Big Show got moved down to the Andre the Giant match. She's not going to win another year. Um, I mean, really, I'm going to talk about this later, but we've seen what happens to the winners of the Andre the Giant match. Sh uh, Big Show is not going to win again. Braun Strowman for the win. Faux Show. Um, Neville and Austin Aries. This is a really tough one. Austin Aries is a Milwaukee native, but I'm going to go with Neville. Going with Neville. Full show. Um, one, he's the king of the cruiserweights. He really is. Uh, him and Jack Gallagher, they had the match of the night when it came to Fastlane. I was at Fastlane. It fucking sucked. Really fucking sucked. Um... Yeah, the Cruiserweights had the match of the night. It was because of Neville, not going to lie. Jack, I fucking love you, dude. Jack Gallagher, uh, you're great in the Cruiserweight, too. Don't worry, but uh, yeah, Neville, he's he's fucking running it. I can't, I can't say Austin Aries. I mean, they've been packaging Austin Aries and pushing him up to the Cruiserweights, but I don't think it's enough yet. Like, Austin, you're going to get it. Just, just, just wait, but Neville... Keep pushing it. Uh, WWE, for a side note, Cruiserweight Classic was amazing. Everybody loved... There's, you can't meet a person in the street that saw that and said that they hated it because you gave time for every match. Now you're just pushing the Cruiserweight matches in anywhere you can fit it in Raw and pay-per-views. Um, yeah, Neville and Jack Yellowhorn, they fucking rocked it. Fastlane, that was the best match that was. Um... On Raw, you don't treat it the same. And people aren't going to stay awake for 205 Live. I I work at 5 or 6 in the morning. I'm not going to stay awake for 205 Live. Fucking feed the people that shit on Raw. If that's going to be the staple, fucking give them a half an hour match like you did in the Cruiserweight Classic. Because people will watch that shit. And here we go. Oh, God. Oh, geez. The uh, SmackDown Cruiserweight Women's Champion. Um, So it's a six-pack uh, from what I hear. Uh, this is not up to date. It says all available women. I heard they made it a six-pack, which was um, Alexa, Carmella, Nikki, Becky Lynch, Natalia, and Naomi. Naomi is favored to win, and it's in her hometown. 98% of me wants to go with Naomi because it's her hometown. But man, um, WWE doesn't like to do that. They don't like to be like, it's her hometown, we're going to let her take it. They've proven that in, like, multiple, like, Multiple pay-per-views. Um, was it like Enzo and Cass? They were in like their like nearby uh, when it was like Takeover New York. They were like hyping them up for being locals, and they didn't win. Um, was it HB? Was it HBK? Lost in his hometown. Something like that. I don't know. Um. I don't like her at all, but I'm gonna say I'm gonna actually say if they're making it a six pack, only the six people, I'll I'll fucking say Alexa's gonna keep it. I don't want her to. I actually I actually was hoping that it would be open to all women and Eva Marie was going to take it. Um I thought it would be either Eva Marie or Asuka was gonna come up with her NXT title and then win it, and then she would just drop her NXT title, um, but I, then once I heard it was a six pack, I think they're gonna just, just keep Alexa Bliss on it, like, I mean, Mickey James, you're great, I've seen ya, you're great, um, Becky Lynch just fucking can't talk, yeah, oh god, every time you step up, uh, step, step up on a microphone, I hate it. And... Nikki? No. 
Alexa, Becky, Mickey, Natalia, just stop. Just stop. Nikki, you're done. No, you're in a different match. Fuck it. I'm not gonna lie. It's not a sexist way at all, but I don't... I, like, women matches just don't... Just don't entice me as much as they could. Not to say that I don't like... I love Naomi. I do. She's... I, I've, I have felt the glow for a long time. But WWE doesn't like the whole, like, oh, hey, hometown thing. They like happy endings, but this isn't the last match. She's not gonna win. But I do feel the glow. On SmackDown, I feel the glow. But Alexa's gonna keep it. Um. Mm. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. You good. Raw tag team. Oof, the Raw Tag Team. This is a fucking rough match. Um, it's a it's a four way now because then this is not an update list at all. This is terrible. Okay, um, CBS. I'm actually um yeah. What the fuck? Um, so now it's a four way. The do the New Day are not hosts anymore, which is great. Um, this whole ice cream bit. The f the new day pops. Like, it's so, so stupid. You were lucky that you were able to sell bootios to people. You're going to push it with ice cream? Really? Um, yeah. I don't know if this is the punishment for Xavier Woods thing. That they're not hosts anymore. They're definitely not going to win the titles. Um, it's a toss-up between Endzone Big Cass and the club. I'm going to go with the club. I hear there are talks of breaking Enzo and Big Cass up. If they're not going to get the titles now, maybe SummerSlam... To, like, try to stretch out that money train more. But, one, the club deserve it. And, two, this, two is a stretch. It's not going to happen. But I think, I think we can all expect a, pri a surprise guest, CM Punk, coming in and teaming up with Luke Gallows. And bringing Carl's Anderson back in to resurrect the fucking, the SES. <coughs> yeah, no, nobody. I just, I actually just found out, like, at, uh, it's 10.30 now. I found, I found out at 3 a.m. this morning I was watching WrestleMania 2010. I found out Luke Gallows was a part of the, uh, fucking Straight Edge Society. Wishful thinking, CM Punk is coming back. And he's going to get Luke Gallows and Anderson the tag team titles to resurrect the Straight Edge Society. Uh, I, that's never going to happen. But I do think the club are going to take the titles over Enzo and Cass. Um, Enzo and Cass still have heat on them somehow. Uh, I think, okay... This is my own theory. I know this video is already stretching. 14 minutes starting now. Um, Enzo and Cass were going to win the titles a long time ago. But um, when Enzo got his concussion, that's when they were going to win the titles, the next match. But that was because they were saying the New Day had the, the, the longest streak. And the internet itself, like, people that liked New Day, and, uh, they liked Enzo and Big Cass, and, like, everything like that. It's actually the internet's fault that, uh, Enzo and Cass haven't gotten the title sooner, because then the internet was like, no, you can't say New Day had the title the longest, because, um, oh, the name is, the, the, 
the people that had, you know, the people they broke the title for. I apologize. This is involved in why I can't remember, but, you know, whatever. So, end zone cast, I think they're going to win at SummerSlam. The club is going to take it on WrestleMania. They deserve it. Because technically, end zone cash should have had it by now. End zone cash. End zone cash me outside. End zone cash should have had. Cass should have had it by now. And then the club would definitely take it from them. But because of the internet and crappy booking, the club has it now. And their club is going to keep it now. Full show. That's it. Not with the help of CM Punk. Although, um, one, that would be hilariously amazing. Because probably Dwayne Johnson would have like made it appropriate. But two, on a side note, people, stop chanting CM Punk. Ugh, ugh, ugh. God. When Seth Rollins was given his, like, heartfelt, like, moment about, like, coming to WrestleMania, and people were like, see you, Punk. Oh, they fucking... There. It's all your CM Punks. Sorry, Chicago. I mean, I'm close to you, Chicago, but fucking stop. Anyways, Dean Ambrose and Baron Corbin. Um, as much as I don't like... Women's matches, again, no offense to women. They're just not as entertaining to me. This is definitely a Dairy Queen match. If you don't know what a Dairy Queen match is, a group of friends of and me and I, whatever, uh, when there's a match that is not that exciting on the card, we go to Dairy Queen to get a Sunday or a blizzard. Unfortunately, this is a Dairy Queen match because um, Dean Ambrose... Let's talk about him for a minute. Uh, so, Seth Rollins got injured. Roman Reigns was out on uh, the wellness policy. Shit. What do we have left? This fucking Dean Ambrose guy. Uh, Dean Ambrose got way more of a pop than he ever should have. Dean, I get it. You were a thing in CCW. CZW? Great job. You can't do that here. You don't deserve where you are. Fucking stop. You're not a great wrestler. Just fucking make like your hairline and recede to the back of the line, bro. Which isn't necessarily fair, because then we're going to talk about Baron Corbin winning, and his hairline is farther back than Dean's. But can we just admit that Baron Corbin won the Andre the Giant match this year, and... I'm pretty sure this is the first title match he's getting. He was in Elimination Chamber, which was great, and he did his, like, couple spots. I was actually, like, underdog and hoping that he was going to win. But, like, this is the first thing since his Andre the Giant thing that he's gotten, like, a title shot. So, they can't have the Andre the Giant winner happen and then be like well you'll just be like baron corbin last year and not do and not do or get anything so baron corbin is definitely gonna win because they have to like prove that like they have baron corbin he's gonna win but they have cesaro who is has a tag team title now. He's not even fucking doing his own thing. He has to, uh, like, match up with Sheamus. With Sheamus, your t-shirt, by the way, right now is great. Uh, and then the big show who won, too, who was supposed to go with Shaquille O'Neal, but Shaquille O'Neal is like, yo, I am fucking just gonna go into the stereo for thousands of years. Um, so it's like, they have to prove that people that win Andre the Giant can do great things. So, Baron Corbin, faux show. Um, this definitely is not in order, because now they have Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho. Kevin Owens, he's going to win. Jericho, can we just stop right now and just be like, hey, 19 minutes and 30 seconds in. Thank you. Definitely, like, and I, I've heard that you even agree your best years. Like, you've done amazing things. And, like, I was just talking about WrestleMania 2010. 
you uh, you were the champion uh, defending against Edge. And you yourself have even said this. You you made a fucking a fucking list above the title. Like people cared more about the list than they did the title, and that was all because of Chris Jericho. Huh. You just made the list. Was like, ah, who cares about being baptized? If you made the list, you were gold. Like fucking. Thank you, Jericho. Like, you do deserve... Like, I'm glad you got the U.S. title. That was the only title you didn't have. You know, I, I don't have to tell you that. But, yeah, you, you did it. You did it. You're going on tour. We all... Like, if you dig into the internet, you do know Jericho's going on tour with Fozzy. It's happening. I would like to think that him and... Him and Kevin Owens are going to have an amazing friendship match because they've had all the podcasts together. They're friends. It's fine. They're going to have a great match together at WrestleMania. And Kevin Owens is going to come out on top. And Jericho's going to be fine with that. He's, he's not going to act like it. If anything, maybe at Payback? Is that what it is? Maybe at Payback they'll get a rematch and Kevin Owens is still going to come on top because Jericho eventually has to go. It rhymes. It has to happen. No, that's not why it has to happen, but Jericho, thank you. But we all know Kevin Owens eventually has to win. Might as well be at WrestleMania if you're his true friend. You'll let him have a mania moment, and that's great. Um, mmm. God, the Raw Women's. Charlotte. Has to be Charlotte. She lost her streak. Gonna start it back up at Mania. I thought it would just be Charlotte and Bailey, and she was just gonna fucking just... Beat the fuck out of Bailey, but now... I mean, there's more people involved. You, like, Sasha always wins on Raw. She's not going to win at a pay-per-view. Bailey is just... Li God. I feel like I could walk down the street on a, like, a pay-per-view night and just kick a, a couple pebbles. And then they're like, well, hey, here's the women tag team. You, you just beat Bailey, And I'd be like, well... I don't need this. Just... Nia Jax is, is like the big underdog in this situation because I mean tech she just she just beat Bailey to get into this match. Bailey, you were you were great in NXT, but like like and that's fine. That's uh, that's yeah, I get it. You're like the happy go lucky underdog, like, oh I used to watch you guys back in like now you're in the main roster, and WWE is writing you as a person that, like, I get lucky to beat these people, and I get lucky to meet these people. So what? Nia Jax just, just beat you in a noble spot. Like, Sasha Banks is just using you to get to the spot. Like, Charlotte doesn't lose at pay-per-views. Like, Bailey, the, I saw you at Fastlane. You botched your own moves. That was... I actually had pictures of you botching your moves. And I didn't even mean to get pictures of you. I was trying to get pictures of the ring post for my fiancé. And, uh, and I just happened to get pictures of you botching your own moves. That's... That's sad. Those are your moves. I didn't... I didn't tell you to botch them for the photos. You fucking did it. That's fucking... Like... Bring Asuka up and bring you down. I don't... Sorry. Bailey, you just... My fiancé likes you. I don't, know if I, I don't know if I can feel it. I don't like it. <sighs> Charlotte. Um, John Cena, The Miz... My heart wants to go with the Miz, like get like an upset victory, because there's this whole understory about John Cena proposing to Nikki Bella. He can still do it if they lose. 
Uh, the Miz has been great. He's got his... Oh, my... Like, the Miz... Oh, man, the Miz. Been on fire. I mean, he doesn't have a title on him. He's still on fire. It doesn't make sense to... To make him lose again. But it... But... If you're not looking to lose, you don't go up against John Cena. So I'm gonna say it's Cena... Because John Cena. It's, it's hard to argue with that. Like, like I, I was watching WrestleMania 2010. He beat Batista because John Cena. And then supposedly he's supposed to propose to Nikki Bella. And it's like... Why would you want to be married to any Bella? And then you have Daniel Bryan. Would you, I mean, she was probably like, would you marry me? And he was like, yes, yes. Yeah, I know that wasn't how it went, but whatever. But it's like, if internet people think or know that you're going to get proposed by someone, Unless WWE pays you a lot of money, you think Nikki Bella would be like, I can think for myself. And if everyone already knows that he's going to propose to me like that, I'm just going to think, hey, no, no, no. Do it to me off camera if you really want to be married to me because I'm an... I'm my own woman. I can think for myself. But at the same time, WWE signs those checks. So, Cena for the win and for the proposal. And Nikki Bella's gonna be a basic ass bitch and say yes. Because she's all about that total Bellas. And anyways, that still goes on. Shane McMahon versus AJ Styles. Oh my fucking god. If Shane McMahon wins this fucking match, I don't I don't mean to quote uh, King Ross from what culture wrestling, WCPW, but uh, grab two of every animal and go to the border because the end is nigh, the end is nigh, the end is nigh, it fucking, AJ, AJ fucking Styles, because yes. If you're gonna have John Cena, because John Cena, fucking AJ Styles, because AJ Styles. Okay, this is where my hand is, and you're the camera. Here's the Shane McMahon punch. He has the weakest ass punk punches. Fucking in the history of ever. Shane McMahon can't fucking punch anything. If he was at a time clock, he would always be tardy because he could never even fucking punch in. And I know that because I've been punching in for... Almost nine fucking years out of the same fucking factory. I hate my life, by the way. But okay, say say here was the table. And here was AJ Styles on that SmackDown. And here's Shane McMahon. And he's like, oh, climb, climb in the fucking top rope. And pew. And AJ Styles was just like, well, yeah. I'm selling this shit. Like a Samsung Note 5. <laughs> Samsung Note 5, buy it. I don't fucking care. Either way, AJ fucking styles because, yes. Uh, Seth Rollins, Triple H, in a non sanctioned uh, match. Uh. Mm, mm. Uh, my fiance loves Seth Rollins. Uh, the first pay-per-view I watched since my, like, grade school years was the WrestleMania that Seth Rollins cashed in. And, uh, I witnessed my fiancé throwing out her shoulder. That's not even an exaggeration. Throwing out her shoulder to Seth Rollins cashing in and winning the title. 
I stayed with her. Uh, I mean, if you see her in videos, you would... would oh, she's just fucking perfect. I mean, not just, not just... I mean, her body is fucking... Haunted for days, but I mean, just her as a part of fucking... Oh, yes. Oh, God, I wish she was here right now. Um... Happy ending says Seth Rollins wins. But Triple H... Is Triple H. It's kind of heads or tails. I'm... Mmm, dicks. I'm gonna go against my fiance on this one and say Triple H is going to win. It's not gonna be a huge deal. Like, I don't think it's gonna worsen Seth Rollins' injury. Like, he'll have a great match, but I, I want to say Samoa Joe. He, I, he's not even mentioned yet. So, like, even Sami Zayn is mentioned in the. Andre the Giant, but Samoa Joe... Ooh! Oh! Mmm! Finn Balor, though. Ooh, Finn Balor, though, too. Oh, dicks. I didn't... I'm... Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, it's not like I'm gonna lose, like, sleep or love interest, like... I mean, my fiance is still gonna love me. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Triple H. I mean, to be fair, if Goldberg and Brock Lesnar is the main event, they have to kill time, so people might show up. But I, I think Triple H is gonna win. Um, Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton. I think on um, like I don't know how many people are like all like fucking Bray Wyatt for days. It's gonna be day Wyatt. Oh, um, like Bray's due. His besides, like you know, he he won the title, but it's like he won that in Elimination Chamber. Before Elimination Chamber, he he debuted in a pay per view, and it was Ring of Fire against Kane. He's had two pay per view wins. Randy Orton's had enough. Uh. Oh, WrestleMania, wow, it's a good thing I fucking watched that. WrestleMania 2010, even. Like, oh, Randy Orton has had plenty of pay-per-view wins. Like, even the Royal Rumble, which he was going to give up and fucking... No, but it's like, WrestleMania 2010, he, he fucking beat Cody Rhodes and DeBiase. Uh, uh, it's like, fucking, like, he's had enough pay-per-view wins. Bray Wyatt's had two. And Bray Wyatt's, like... Husky's earned it, you know? He's earned a, a, a couple, like, two pay-per-view victories. Come on, like, he's earned a third. He's, he'll retain it. Bray for the win. <sighs> Goldberg and Lesnar. You know, we all figured Goldberg was going to be Kevin Owens in a flash, but we... If you're smart, you didn't want it to happen. But if you're a child, you wanted it to happen. And he did. I actually think Brock Lesnar is going to win this one. I hear Kevin Owen, or I hear, I hear Goldberg isn't very happy right now. He's kind of miserable. I think Brock Lesnar is going to win it. Like, I'm hoping... Fucking dicks. Oh, God. Mm. Like, what? What? Mm. That's so fucking tough. No, I'm gonna... I'm, I'm not... I'm not up for anything. Fuck it. Why, why, why do I care? Lesnar. Sure. Why not? Fucking Lesnar. Ugh. Okay, so... Lesnar wins. Wyatt wins. Oh, I didn't even say Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns wins because Roman Reigns. Undertaker is not 
um, okay, so he lost he lost his his like streak to Brock Lesnar, which was a shitty fucking like we all that that was shit. We all know it. Um, but if you if, if there was interviews with I I believe that there was interviews where he even agreed to lose it to Bray Wyatt. Like he wanted to lose it to someone that was up and coming and younger. And fucking Brock Lesnar. Um, there, this, there's talk, this isn't supposed to be his last WrestleMania, but I think he's like 51 or 52. He's, he's way too fucking old. Look at, oh my God, look at Rick fucking Flair. If Ric Flair walks down the, to the ring at another time, I'm going to slit my own throat because that dude should not fight. Like, still. So, Undertaker, the fact that he can walk out there and put on a little bit of a show, like, this isn't supposed to be his last WrestleMania. But it might be. So, I'm going to say Roman Reigns because Roman Reigns. But because... It might be Undertaker's last. I believe he's going to come back next year and go out on top. Maybe? But Roman Reigns. So, Brock Lesnar, Bray Wyatt, Roman Reigns, Triple H, AJ Styles, Cena and Bella, Cena, whatever they call themselves. Charlotte, God, dicks, yes. Uh, Kevin Owens, Baron Corbin, Gallows and Anderson. Hopefully, with CM Punk to resurrect the SCS. Never gonna happen, but uh, Gallows and Anderson, Alexa Bliss, which, if you ask my fiance, I feel the glow, but I think Alexa Bliss, Neville. And Braun Strowman. Um, just what I think. I'm not a f important person at all. So if you watch this, thank you. Um, comment, like, share, subscribe. I don't, I don't care what you do, but this is just what I wanted to do. So there you go. So again, Strowman, Neville, Alexa, Gallows, Corbin, Owens, Charlotte. Cena, Styles, H, Roman, Bray, Lesnar. There it is. My thoughts. I'm probably wrong, but yes. So, do your thing. I don't care. Boom.